hi guys it's vi life with kelly and i'm back with another video as promised from the last video this is going to be all about delicious game watching party foods so if you are hosting um like you should be hosting to have successful relationships during football and basketball season um then this is your video so keep watching and let's get started. I'd also like to ask that you please leave comments of your favorite game watching foods if you have a certain twist or spin or videos. Um, as far as I know, I haven't seen a video like this um, here on YouTube, but I haven't searched either. So I will search after um, I upload this video and I'll leave a comment as well if I saw anything um, that I want to share or try with you guys. Um, I do want to tell you really quickly too um, that I'm getting ready to do soups for the rest of the month. So I will be uploading me um, doing a navy bean. It's going to be a winter bean soup um, that I'll be uploading uh, by Monday. So look forward to that and yeah. I'm excited guys okay so let's get into it um, here are some great ideas for game watching party foods I'm going to give you some pescatarian vegetarian and vegan options um, to foods that we may overlook or we may not overlook all of the time and that we may already be eating who knows but if you want to write it down or get your notes out um, so you can get what you need from the store tomorrow morning or right now um, or you might be listening to this while you're shopping already then let's get it going okay one of my favorite things to always have at any party not just at a game is a fruit salad okay I always want to have lots and lots of fruit not just a fruit tray but a fruit salad so um, and I like to make things personable so everything that I make I like to have enough where a person can take a whole individual um, like personalized size for themselves so especially with everything going on but I've always been this way anyway so for example if you live somewhere where you could still find whole pineapples I would get let's say I know I'm gonna have 10 people to the house um, and I could have like small size pineapples or even small size coconuts um, then I would um, cut the tops of the pineapples I would take all the pineapple out um, the juice and all and then I would start mixing in my different fruit that I had available so if I had strawberries blackberries blueberries if I had grapes um, if I had um, if I had any mango or papaya like whatever it is that's available for you during this season um, even some sliced apple even some sliced lemons um, even some sliced oranges like whatever I could get my hands on right now um, it would be in that pineapple um, and then with the coconut as well I know a lot of people are like oh what would you do with the coconut um, there's a lot that you could do with a coconut for me um, I always think about pineapples and coconuts and cherries um, so, you know, and depending on if that person's into the meat of coconut, like shaved coconut, um, then you could even throw some chocolate chips in there. It, it's just up to you. But, um, I always go like pineapples, cherries, um, if you can find any mango, things like that. Um, I throw that in my coconut and I just do coconut halves. So each person could pick up a coconut half or you could get a whole um, pineapple and then I just use the juice um, of the pineapple to kind of keep everything going so nothing's like dry and um, 
and you know that's delicious so definitely want to incorporate fruit into our game watching party time i love it i love it i love it okay as you guys know by now i'm very much into tacos okay um another thing that i'm very much into are rolled tacos um, another thing that I'm very much into are, um, from Cheesecake Factory, the Firecracker Salmon Rolls. And I'm very much into enchiladas. So, I get these little small, um, trays that you can make, like, individual portions of enchiladas. So, each person could take a tray and they'd have their own, you could make put in there easily four to six enchiladas per person and you could make um you could make your vegan enchiladas if you want it that didn't have to have cheese or you could use the vegan cheese um which i would use like the monterey jack cheddar blend um you can use the dairy cheese um which i use and i blend in my green onions and my black olives in my cheese um, or you don't have to use cheese at all for your filling. You could use, now I always use green chilies, habanero peppers, jalapeno. I always use bell pepper, onions, um, diced tomato. That's always there. But then whatever you choose to add from there, like if you want to do vegetarian, you could add black beans for your protein and then still use the dairy cheese if you chose or not use the dairy cheese and then it just becomes a vegan dish um and so you can um use of course they have the beyond meat uh, meatless ground crumbles that you could use of course you know you could use a variety of ground meats that's totally up to you um to to me the enchiladas taste the absolute best when um, you either go for steak, like a sirloin steak, if you're going to use meat, um, or you can use, like I said, the black beans. Um, you can actually use both together. If you do like steak and black beans, you could use all um, both of them. And um, you just make the personal trays of enchiladas. I am going to be um, making enchiladas for you guys um, very soon, so definitely stay tuned um, for that video because it's a very involved video. Okay, let me hurry up because I'm working on shorter videos. So, um, the next thing that you guys can make is rolled tacos. Um, rolled tacos are very simple. You're going to need a skillet and you are going to need some oil in order to do so. You're gonna to need to use your corn tortillas, um, the taco size, and then you're going to need to decide what are you using. Are you using meatless ground, um, like the Beyond Meat, soy-free, mushroom-free, um, plant-based protein? Are you going to use, um, once again, I would go for steak. Um, if you're going to use a shredded steak, um, or are you going to use, some people will use um, poultry. I don't um, eat poultry, so that's why I don't ever really talk about it. But that's an option as well. Um, so you just have to decide what is your protein. And then what you're going to do is season the protein before you place it in the center of that um, corn tortilla shell and then you're going to roll it and then um, place it in the skillet to fry um, to keep that round uh, consistency um, roll tacos are delicious that's another thing that i will put in individual trays and then they can pick up and have three um, roll tacos each and then they could pick up their tray with their enchiladas and if you want to make it like a Mexican theme and then you can do your tacos now I know you guys are like saying oh my gosh I'm gonna be cooking forever but no you're really not um, because the thing about it is you make you make like it depending on how many guests you have that's how many you make because you want to make it where if they pick up a tray from every single table they're well beyond satisfied and they're not coming back for seconds so for me if i did 
you know, the three to five enchilada tray, and then I come back and do a three to five rolled taco tray, and then I come back and do three to five tacos. So with the tacos, I half them so they end up being taco triangles. So if you do fish tacos, which fish tacos makes so much with one pan of fish tacos which i did do a video for that and if you want to check it out definitely check it out um because i did that video in october and november um but if you do fish tacos you can easily make 72 tacos um with one pan so once you've made your base you can make the tacos cut them in half and individually wrap them um in foil and then you can put them in trays and they can literally just pick them up you know pick up however many they want while they're already picking up you know their individual pan of enchiladas um roll tacos what have you um another great absolutely fantastic and preparation free um and preparation free item to have at your game watching party are the tortilla chips by Tostitos um, and the or and you can get the quinoa black bean chips from Trader Joe's along with the vegan salsa especial in the refrigerated section um, they have it in mild and they have it in medium so you get you get you one of those really nice um, chip dip trays i found mine like in coals and what you do you put your salsas um in the center and then you have i just make it a whole dip tray so it used to be the thing like you put the chips around the salsa and then everybody comes up picks up chips and grabs salsa but i don't do that anymore so my thing is i make the whole rounder dips so that way I know what it is. Now, the chips that you want to get are the guacamole chips by Tostitos, the jalapeno chips by Tostitos, the habanero pepper tortilla chips by Tostitos, the salsa verde chips by Tostitos. Y'all, you need them. They are delicious. Delicious. Then you need to get the pineapple peach salsa and the peach mango salsa by Good and Gathered. Delicious. I can eat that by itself and don't even need anything else. Anyway, get those things. You won't regret it. Um, another thing to make is my um, two bean um, nacho dip. And... All you need for my two bean nacho dip is black beans and navy beans. Um, I'll be making this for you. I have made a video already on nachos. Um, so you could watch that video if you want to um, make it right now. And the only thing you'll need to add is the navy beans. Um, and so you would need canned beans if you're going to just add it. But if you're going to prepare your black beans and your navy beans, then you do need to soak those beans overnight and then cook them um, for about two hours before you add them um, to your vegetables and to your cheese product of your choice. Um, and so if you decide to use a dairy cheese like a Velveeta or something like that, or if you decide to use the non-dairy substitute, it's up to you, but it makes a difference on how you add it. Um, and you actually do not have to use cheese at all. And it tastes just as delicious. Um, so those are other options. Um, the firecracker salmon rolls that Cheesecake Factory no longer offers is a wonderful um, dish for game watching parties as well as fried rice. And you could add whatever protein you're into. Um, I used to make a lot of um, fried rice with like a fish. Like whatever fish I had. Perch, red snapper, yellowtail snapper, whiting, um, pollock, cod, trout. 
like whatever fish I had um, when I was into salmon more, you know, I would use the Alaskan wild caught salmon, like everything wild caught, but um, you definitely could do fried rice and then you could do the firecracker salmon rolls, which is the same thing as an egg roll, but it's just like a rolled taco instead of an egg roll. It's not as fat. And you could serve, you know, you could easily put three to five of them with the fried rice. And that's a great um, game watch and party item. Um, and then, and carry on, you know what I mean? Um, what was the last thing I was going to tell you guys about for um, a nice game watching party idea? Mm, so... I guess that's it for now. I think that's a great start. Um, you know, oh, stuffed bell peppers. And I made that for you guys. Stuffed bell peppers is a great party food. Um, it is. It's very satisfying. It's surprising as well because most people don't make stuffed bell peppers anymore. So definitely look at that video that I made for you guys on stuffed bell peppers it was really really good um, I got some very large bell peppers when I made them when I made it um, super super delicious you can use whatever protein you want um, whether you're using the Beyond Meat meatless ground crumbles whether you're using um, you know a steak um, or you could even use lamb in your um, stuffed bell peppers. It's totally up to you. Um, and another thing that you want to add, and comment down below if you guys want me to do any of the combinations of food. And I know I'm going to do it because I've been asked. Um, but meatballs are great um, game watching foods and shish kebabs. So you could do like... Um, the meatless uh, meatballs by Beyond Meat are actually super delicious. I'm actually making um, spaghetti today and I'm going to add them um, to the side. I like mine's on the side. I don't like them in mixed into the spaghetti. But um, you could do meatballs and it would be heavenly shish kebabs are always on point whether you're going to do like a hawaiian theme where you could take some of those pineapple chunks and slide those on there with some onions and some bell peppers and some tom tomato like i don't know what you like on your shish kebab but i like my meat whatever it's going to be a little grilled if you didn't have time to do grill any meat or um, prep any meat you could use your um, meatless meatballs by Beyond Meat because I bake mine so you could be baking them and then you could add them to a skewer and you just put like your mini bell pepper you put your little um, pineapple on there you put a little onion on there you put in then you could literally bake them you just season put them in a pan a tray and bake everything super delicious you could put a marinade over them um, even if you wanted kind of like a little teriyaki taste it really depends on what how and what you want to do with that but these are great game watching food ideas um, the goal is to have everyone satisfied um, and you do want to end up not having anything left over um, the next video I'm going to do on great ideas for drinks um, for your game watching party. So definitely stay tuned for the next upload.